Welcome to episode 5, getting started with the graph tutorial series. In this episode, we'll build a tweet graph, use string indices to query Twitter users using the hash index, compare strings using the exact index, and search for tweets based on keywords using the term index. I'm Anthony, a developer advocate for dgraph and it's my goal to learn how to use dgraph, graphql plus minus, and share the learning journey with you. Please share this video, comment below, and join our open Slack community by clicking on the blue button at the bottom of the blog and say hi after you join the community. In the previous episode, we learned about using multi-language strings and operations on multi-language strings using language tags. This video's topic will build on that. Let's get started on episode five. The first thing we need to do is model some tweets in dgraph. Let's dissect a tweet. Each tweet can have a author, which is the user, body of the tweet, the text, hashtags, and mentions that are also users. You may recall from one of the previous videos or blog posts, some of the design properties of a graph model. Let's review. Nodes and edges are the building blocks of a graph model. May it be a sale, a tweet, user info, any concept or entity may be represented as a node. If any two nodes are related, we may represent that by creating an edge between them. Nodes of the tweet graph are the author, which is the user, the body of the tweet, we're gonna call that the whole tweet, hashtags. The edges of our tweet graph are authored, mentions, and tagged. Now that we've described our nodes and edges, let's talk about potential relationships we may have. The authored edge, a user has a tweet or many tweets, a tweet has one author, that's the user. The mentioned edge between the tweet and the user. A tweet may mention a user, a user does not mention a tweet. And our third is tagged with. A tweet is tagged with a hashtag, a hashtag is not tagged with a tweet. Let's see what we've built. Look at all the nodes with their strong relationships. Notice there's no direct relationship between an author and a hashtag node. Let's see the graph with real tweets. We have some real dgraph tweets to use. Here's the code to create relationships of what we built with real tweets. Please review the first blog post and accompanying video if the query code is unfamiliar or if you want a deeper dive or refresher on the query. Let's discuss the colors and how they communicate what's going on. User nodes are blue, tweet nodes are green, hashtag nodes are purple, authored edges are green, mentioned edges are pink, tagged with edges are purple. Let's search for all the users. If the query looks unfamiliar, then you can find more information and get a refresher on it in the getting started step one. Let's talk about the result of our query. We have four users. We have Hackintoshiro, Frances, DGraph Labs, and Gopherpalooza. Let's query the tweets and hashtags for our four users. This query syntax is covered in step three of the getting started series. Check that out to get a refresher or become more familiar with it. What are indices? Each index takes up space. The more indices that you have, the more space they consume. Now let's create our first index. It'll be a hash index. Let's query Twitter users using the hash index. It's as simple as saying, hey dgraph, find me the tweets of the user with a Twitter handle equals to Hackintoshiro. Before we run the query, we have to add an index hash to the user handle predicate. There are five types of indexing, hash, exact, term, full text, and trigram. We're gonna focus on the first three in this video. Why did we choose the hash for the user handle? We want the exact string value of a predicate. The hash index will do that. This is how we add the hash index. With our new index, we can create a new query using the EQ comparator to find Hackintoshiro tweets. Let's extend the query to fetch hashtags and mentions. Do you know that string values in dgraph can also be compared using comparators like greater than or less than? Let's see how to run the comparison functions other than equals to on the string predicates. Let's use the other comparators that we have. We need to use the exact index. Again, if you're not familiar with these, check out step three in our getting started video series. All five may be used to compare string predicates. 
Here's an example. Find user that come after DGRAPH Labs. Why did we get an error? What's the message? You can see from the error message that the current hash index on the user handle predicate doesn't support the GT function. To be able to do string comparison operations like the one we're making, we need to set the exact index on the string predicate first. The exact index is the only string index that allows you to use the GE, GT, LE, LT comparators on string predicates. The exact index also allows you to use the equals to comparator. But if you want to use just the equals to comparator on string predicates, using the exact index would be an overkill. The hash index would be a better option as it is much more space efficient. Here's the exact index in action. Though a string predicate can have more than one index, some of them are not compatible with each other. One such example is the combination of the hash and the exact index. We cannot use hash and exact index on the same predicate. Let's resolve this error by removing the hash index because we want to have access to all of the comparators, not just the EQ comparator. The user handle predicate already has the hash index, so trying to set the exact index gave us the error. Let's uncheck the hash index for the user handle predicate, select the exact index, and click update. Though DGRAPH allows you to change the index type of a predicate, do it only if it's necessary. When the indices are changed, the data needs to be re-indexed, and that takes some computing, and computing takes time, and it could take a bit of time. While the re-indexing operation is running, all mutations will be put on hold. Let's rerun the query with the proper index option. A keyword-based search is a useful way to find relevant info. Are we able to search for tweets based on one or more keywords related to our interests? Yes. Yes, we can. We can search for tweets based on keywords using the term index. The term index lets you search string predicates based on one or more keywords. These keywords are called terms. To be able to search tweets with specific keywords or terms, we need to first set the term index on the tweets. Adding the term index is similar to adding any other string index. Term has two built-in functions, all of terms and any of terms. Term also supports the EQ comparator, but not the other comparators. Now let's run the query with our new functions. Let's find all the tweets with the word go or graph. The term search functions, any of terms and all of terms, are insensitive to case and special characters. Here's a new search, go or graphql. Now let's run the same search using all of terms and compare the results. Thank you for sticking around to the end and allowing me to share what I've learned about DGRAPH and GraphQL plus minus. Before we wrap up, let's have a recap. Here's the table containing the three string indices we learned about and their compatible built-in functions. And remember, all of terms and any of terms are insensitive to case and special characters. What else did we cover? In this episode, we modeled a series of tweets and set up the exact term and hash indices in order to query them. Did you know that DGRAPH also offers more powerful search capabilities like full text search and regular expression based search? In the next episode, we'll explore these features and learn more about powerful ways of searching for your favorite tweets. Sound interesting to you? Me too. Then I'll see you soon in our next tutorial. Again, I'm Anthony, a developer advocate for DGraph Labs, and you can find me in slack.dgraph.io Slack channel. Please share this video in the communities where you're active and comment below. We'd love to hear your feedback. Onward.